let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a nap at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Navigate a nostril. I'm a magic school bus. Make a plane to two. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic scuba. to bring Liz home. I have to get her ready. Oh, my. What's wrong? Liz is missing. Missing? But she was here yesterday. She's here every day. Maybe she moved into another classroom. No way, Ralphie. Liz loves it here. She'd never leave us. Then how come her sunglasses are gone? And her earphones. <gasps> And her entire habitat. Miss <laughs> Frizzle? Good morning, class. Miss Frizzle, Liz is missing. Oh, I know. And so is the air from my alligator. I don't get it. Miss Frizzle sounds so unconcerned. Cold-blooded is more like it. Did somebody say cold-blooded? That reminds me, Liz is not going to be here today. A note! I found a note! What's it say? I don't know. It's written in Lizard. Can you read it, Miss Frizzle? Let's see. Claw polish, mm -hmm. scale moisturizer, uh, fang paste. That sounds like a packing list. Then Liz did move out. And I know where. She went to Herp Ha. The address is right here. It's not Herp Ha. It's Herp something else. The rest of the Ha is torn off. OK, but what's a Herp? A oh, good question, Ralphie. Quite simply, a Herp is a reptile. And Liz is a lizard, which makes her a reptile. So? So that still doesn't tell us why she'd pack up all her stuff and leave us. What if she's in terrible danger? Oh, if we only knew what it was like to be a lizard, to feel what Liz feels, to get inside her skin, maybe then, maybe then we'd know the answer. I couldn't have said it better myself. To the bus. <laughs> um, is a rescue mission considered the same as a field trip? I told you it wasn't her pa. I don't see anything funny about this place anyway. What kind of place is this? Yikes! An alligator crossing! They're probably there to keep visitors out. Or keep Liz in. Hey, look out! Shoo! That turtle's humongous. Ah, Mrs. Westlake, how can we serve your reptilian friend? I want him toasted and stuffed just like the last one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do have a sense of humor, Mrs. Westlake. Ta ta! Toasted and stuffed? Sounds like that turtle is about to become somebody's dinner. Oh no. What if Liz is next? Liz a la mode, sprinkled with pecans and a light honey chestnut glaze. Oh, if we could only get inside. I think my great aunt Penny said it best. A lost ball can go a long way. Huh? Yes? Hi, I am but an 
innocent school child who has innocently lost my innocent baseball over your fence. May I innocently come in and innocently get it back? There are certain requirements that must be met before entry is allowed. Requirements? Yes. Body temperature, changeable. Sweat glands, none. Scales or skin, allowed. Hair, not allowed. See for yourself. And we definitely do not take bats. Thank you. Good day. Wait, I... Body temperature, changeable. Well, that lets us out. Our body temperature stays mostly the same. That's why we're called warm-blooded. Then is a reptile called cold-blooded? Ah, it is indeed, Tim. All reptiles are cold-blooded. Cold-blooded, old-blooded, what we need is a plan. Okay, since they won't let us in, we need to get inside without them knowing we're inside. What we need is a disguise. I've got it, a Trojan horse. No way, DA. They only take reptiles, and a horse isn't a reptile. Not a real horse, Ralphie. According to my research, in ancient times, Greek soldiers built a huge wooden horse and hid inside it to fool their enemy. That's it. We turned the bus into a Trojan alligator. You sure this is going to work, Miss Frizzle? As I always say, if you can't beat them, join them. Here we go. Everyone okay in there? Happy as a hurt, Phoebe. Let's do it. Man, this is what I call an inside job. Carlos! Remember, keep your eyes open for Liz. Stand by, we're going in. Yes! Ah, what a splendid alligator. Would you like to come inside? Yes, but I don't want her toasted and stuffed. Whatever you say, my dear. We'll just tease her and squeeze her. <laughs> Does she have a name? Um, um, uh, Valerie! How enchanting. Come along, Valerie. Wait here. But, uh, uh, Valerie doesn't like to be alone. No need to be concerned. We just love our cold-blooded critters to death. What does he mean by that? Did you say something? Uh, I said, uh, I hope she's not, not too fat. Oh, silly girl. Reptiles never get fat. <laughs> Wait, I, I was hoping to see how you do whatever it is you do. Oh, really? Watching can be so tiresome. Relax. Read a magazine. But, but... We'll let you know when she's done. When she's done? Yes. The young lady? Where are you? We did it! We're in! We're in hot water, you mean. <laughs> Cold water, actually. Cold hot. Either way, we're sunk. How do we get out of here? We can't go out there. Those are real snakes and alligators crawling around. They look like they're looking for something. As long as they're not looking for us. Hey, that lizard looks just like Liz. Maybe Liz was homesick. One thing's for sure, we can't find Liz by staying in here. I recall my great aunt Beatrice once said, you know, one good reptile deserves another. Great idea, Ms. Frizzle. If we become reptiles, then that guy at the front door won't bother us. And we can look for Liz 
and nobody will know the difference. Go for it. All right. Gather round, all you would-be reptiles. Um, Miss Frizzle, don't you think someone should stay behind and keep an eye on the bicycator? Good thinking, Arnold. The job is yours. I'll stay with you, Arnold. Think of your favorite reptile. Ready? Say, ah, bus. Wow! Awesome. Incredible. Cool. Cool is right, Miss Frizzle. I'm chilly. Oh. Any better? Uh-uh. I'm still cold. I don't think hiding in your shell is going to get the job done, Ralphie. Looks like we have to move to a warmer place, like this turtle did over here. Wait for me! Hey, you're right. The heat outside is making me warmer inside. Mmm, toasty. That's it. To feel the heat, you have to find the heat. Oh, you're hot today, Tim. To a reptile, location is everything. Come on, guys. Liz is not here. You gotta find her. I'll get the door. Oh, good one, Keish. Oh, worked on me! According to my research, alligators seldom attack human beings. Uh, I hate to remind you, DA, but we're human beings inside a bus -a gator Liz? Liz, I know you're here. <laughs> Supper time, I love supper time. Reptiles and lizards too, we're going to give it to you. Ah, oh, fly fricassee with a mm, light bug sauce. Mm. <laughs> They'll love it. <gasps> Menu? Please, please, please let there be no list of lighter spaghetti and Liz balls. Thing. Whoa, the lizards get just one meal a week, and the alligators get only one meal a month. How inhumane! What kind of a place is this? I just don't get it. Why would Liz want to leave our warm and cozy classroom for a weird place like this? Got me. Let's look in here. <sighs> hmm, I'm getting good at this. Whoa! Big city! Phew, I'm boiling too! That's because we're in the boiler room. So how come I'm not perspiring like I usually do when I'm hot? No sweat, Tim. Huh? Sweat glands. None. That's what it said on the scroll. So I bet reptiles can't sweat to cool down even if they wanted to. Hold it! If you have to find heat to feel warm, maybe you have to find cold to cool down. Only one way to find out. Wow! I can feel my temperature dropping already! Amazing! One little move turns a hot foot into a cool mule. I can't believe us. We're more worried about staying the right temperature than we are about finding the one and only Liz. Come on, we have to get moving. Aww, just when I was feeling comfy. Turn on the heat, DA. I'm cold. I g g guess there's no heater in a b busigator because it's a reptile. Th then move the b busigator to where it's warmer. I g g can't do that either. The b busigator isn't working. It's probably too cold. That's why. Maybe if we bring heat to the b bus, we can get it to move. If we're not careful, we could wind up inside a real alligator. Oops! Uh, excuse me. I'm really sorry. I I'll never do it again, I promise. Over here, Arnold! Help me push this heat lamp to the basigator. Mm. Uh, 
don't look now, but we're being followed. Maybe they're upset because we took their heat. Forget the heat! Back to the bus! But we need it to get the bus moving. You're going to need more than heat to get you moving if that gator gets any closer! <laughs> come on, come on. For months. And that one on the end looks like Liz. Liz, wake up! It's us. She's barely breathing. I can't hear her heartbeat. Liz, snap out of it. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? She's not sleeping. She looks like she's frozen. I don't get it. It feels so cold in here. How come I'm not shivering? Since they don't have sweat glands, maybe reptiles don't have shiver glands either. Come on, Ralphie. There's no such thing as a shiver gland. Shivering is just something people do to get warm. Right as rain, Wanda. Since reptiles can't shiver when they get really cold, their bodies just slow way down. Whoa! I'm slowing down, too. Isn't that like a hibernation? Exactly. <gasps> when did you guys become reptiles? Phoebe, unhibernate Liz. Take her someplace warm. You poor tortured creature. So strong, so brave, so tough in the face of danger. The hibernation isn't dangerous. It's restful. Think of it as a vacation. Look, the heat from my body is warming her up. I'll take her outside. Let's go, you guys. There's no time to lose. Don't worry, guys. I'll save you. Liz, it's us. How are you doing? Say hello to freedom. Ah. Pardon me, young lady. Where are you going with those reptiles? Um, not this way. Yikes! <laughs> Way. Hello? Anybody here? Arnold! DA! Get us out of here! We c c c can't The bus is so cold, it stopped working. Maybe the bus is hibernating, just like Liz was. Not cold again. I was just warming up. Oh, no. That means if we don't get the bus moving, we could be reptiles for the rest of our lives. Whoa, Liz must be feeling better. Those reptiles aren't cold. They look really happy. Is it just me or is the perfect place here better than perfect? One flick of the tail makes it just right. Yeah, not too hot and not too cold. And coziness is only a slither away. That's it! All we have to do to get the bus working again is to move it over here, where the temperature's warmer. I can do that. You guys get in the bus. You'll be fine once we get you home, won't you, Liz? Here we go. Uh, come on, Phoebe, pull! You can do it! Uh, I made it! We're here! It 
It's working! The bus is coming back to life! As I always say, what's good for an alligator is good for a busigator. Open the door, Phoebe. We're taking her out. All clear. We're outside. Yeah. Ready to go home, guys? Oh, no. Gators! <gasps> Do something, Miss Frizzle. They haven't eaten in a month. Okay, everyone think of your favorite person. Ready? Hit it! Come on, Phoebe! Hop aboard! Uh-oh. Okay, bus, do your stuff. Wait! You forgot something! Be careful, Miss Frizzle! Mm, now, what could it possibly be? Liz's, Liz's habitat. habitat? Liz's habitat. Thanks, Harry. Miss Frizzle? You know him? That I do. Harry is the one who built Liz's habitat. It just needed a few repairs. But, uh, you mean this is a good place to be? The place to be, my dear. Harry Herp's Happy Herp Haven, luxury spa and restful resort for weary and worn out reptiles. Whoa. So, you weren't gonna freeze Liz? Well, we did make her cool and comfy, if that's what you mean. And you weren't going to stuff her? <laughs> Hardly. But we did make sure she had enough to eat. Which isn't difficult, since reptiles often go for weeks without eating. I guess we're not quite as cold-blooded as you thought. Although our customers are. I made arrangements for Liz to stay here for a well-needed rest while Harry was fixing her habitat. I started to tell you, but... <laughs> oh, well, I just love it when you find out things for yourselves. Miss Frizzle! <laughs> Magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? 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 Hey, hey, Magic school bus, the producer speaking. You have a question? watched your show on cold-blooded animals, and do you really expect us to believe that there's such a thing as a spa for reptiles? Oh, no, of course not. I mean, we just made it up so we can show what it's like to be cold-blooded. Does being cold-blooded mean reptiles are always cold? <laughs> no, not at all. It just means that they move from place to place to warm up or cool down. Not that they're cold all the time or that they have cold blood. And all of the Herb's Haven staff are trained professionals, and you'd never do to reptiles what they did. It'd be too dangerous. Amphibians like frogs and toads, as well as fish and insects, are also cold-blooded. Now, believe it or not, mammals and birds are the only animals that keep warm from within. Do all reptiles do things like look for shade and sunlight to keep themselves at the right temperature? They have to. While they can tell when their temperature is getting too hot or too cold, they don't have an automatic heating or cooling system inside like we do. I get it. When it gets colder or warmer outside, cold-blooded creatures get colder or warmer inside. <laughs> Spoken like a true herp lover. But what happens if they get too cold or too hot? Ah, good question. Normally, reptiles try to avoid getting into that situation. Now, if for some reason it gets too cold around them and they can't move to a warmer place, they might bury themselves under leaves or find shelter underground, kind of like hibernating. I see. So what about Liz? First of all, you have to remember that Liz is a magical lizard. Second of all, she'll do anything she can to make her life easier and more comfortable. So if I know Liz, she'll do everything possible to add a warm-blooded lifestyle to her cold-blooded life. 
And as Miss Frizzle said, nothing makes a herp as happy as when the temperature's just right. Surfing on a sine wave, swinging through the stars. Take a left at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Navigator nostril. I'm on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to. Take that. I'm a magic school bus. Rock the river of lava. I'm a magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. 